Hey, what is up guys? Bales are moving billions of US dollars on over-the-counter market everyday transactions that influence the price of Bitcoin without ever appearing on exchanges or their book. Could this mean that Bitcoin is highly undervalued? I'm going to answer this question in this video. First and foremost, let's take a look at the current price of Bitcoin. As of the time of this video, Bitcoin is slightly over $3,600. 52 weeks low was at around $3,170, which means that Bitcoin slightly increased by almost 15% from its 52 weeks low to the current price. However, Bitcoin is down by close to 82% from its all time high back in December 2017. I think it is good for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency ecosystem to get rid of all the hypes and worthless ICOs from this market. Because we do not want to see inflated prices based on hype. What we do want to see is one to one correlation between prices and fundamental values of cryptocurrencies. On my opinion, Bitcoin's price has already been dropped below its intrinsic value. I have many reasons for this, but in this video, I will focus only on one. Investors trade over $11 billion worth of crypto assets on exchanges on a daily basis. However, this number does not include over-the-counter market, since OTC market is more like a private market and these popular regulated exchanges such as Coinbase and Binance are more like a public market that is available to anyone. That being said, large investors prefer to conduct their Bitcoin trades away from the public eyes of the cryptocurrency exchanges. They much more prefer over-the-counter market. So, what is OTC Bitcoin market? The over-the-counter Bitcoin market is where investors with deep pockets such as early adopters, crypto funds, and high net worth individuals buy and sell Bitcoin using OTC broker directly between each other as opposed to on exchanges. Large trades will move the price very easily in this fairly illiquid market. Hence, large investors prefer to trade away from exchanges. Investors that fall into this category hold millions in Bitcoin and will be member of what so called Bitcoin rich list. The list of BTC wallets with the large holdings and hold anything between 1 to 100 million dollars worth of cryptocurrency. Ticket sizes of OTC Bitcoin trades will generally start between $75,000 to $250,000, but can go into hundreds of millions. According to a leading Bitcoin broker, Genesis Trading handles between $75 million to $80 million in trading volume per day. If you multiply that number by a dozen of OTC Bitcoin brokers that are currently servicing this market, it is easy to see how OTC volume could exceed an exchange volumes. In a report by consultancy firm, the author states that, based on interviews with industry participants, the cryptocurrency OTC trading can be 2-3x the size of daily trading volume on exchanges. Does the OTC market affect the price of Bitcoin? Given that OTC trades happen away from exchanges, in theory OTC market trading does not affect the price of Bitcoin at all, especially the price that you can see on exchanges. However, if there is a large buyer or seller making inquiries in OTC market, and this information can and most likely will get out and eventually the price on exchanges will be affected and should close the gap between price in OTC and price on public exchanges. Let me give you an example. If an early Bitcoin adopter wants to cash out and sell some of his BTC holdings, let's say 10,000 Bitcoin, which worth around $36 million in today's market price, and ask more than one OTC broker for a suitable bid, Bitcoin investors who are active in both OTC market and on exchanges could end up selling BTC on exchanges in anticipation of the seller's large trade pushing price lower. And they would be right to think so, 
so many believe the sell-off by Medgoc received about 35,000 BTC between December 2017 and February 2018 was a major contributor to the Bitcoin price slide. The OTC market is, therefore, a great source of information for investors as well as a good reference point for where the price of the Bitcoin is really trading. Since exchanges primarily service retail traders, you could argue that the real price of Bitcoin is found in OTC market where the large investors are crossing trade in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Bitcoin and OTC market becomes more and more popular, especially in those countries who do not really trust their government-backed paper currency. In those countries where currency loses its purchasing power very rapidly, especially in South American countries. Let's take a look at Peru. We can see a new all-time high in weekly local Bitcoin volume. Even if you look at December 2017, when Bitcoin was its all-time high at $19,500 per coin, and if we compare this to the current volume, even though the current price of a Bitcoin is 82% less, we will notice that volume increased by at least twice, despite the Bitcoin decrease in price. The same we can say about Argentina, which in all-time high regards the weekly local Bitcoin volume. The same goes to Chile, Colombia, Mexico, and of course, Venezuela. There are many more countries which experience all-time high in Bitcoin trading volume. I just do not have the time to go through all of them. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link in the description box below. So what does that mean? It means that we see high demand for Bitcoin, but that demand currently is not displaying public. It's just a matter of time when public market will pick it up and digest this information. When it does, Bitcoin might once again surpass its fundamental value and be inflated in price. If that's the case, we will experience another Bitcoin bubble. But if that happened, this bubble would be much less than the bubble which we inflated back in the end of 2017. That does not mean that Bitcoin won't reach its new all-time high, because current fundamental value is much higher than it was two years ago. How might OTC market affect Bitcoin ETF approval? An interesting aspect of OTC market for cryptocurrencies, which has not yet became a major point of discussion, is how the growing Bitcoin OTC market could affect the approval of Bitcoin ETF going forward. As reported in last year, the main reasons for SEC decision not to approve any Bitcoin ETF so far have been concerns surrounding potential market manipulations, the lack of adequate agreements, and the lack of traditional means of detecting fraud and manipulation. Despite the requirement KYC documentation to partake, the OTC market is effectively entirely unregulated and therefore is not able to provide any guarantee that no market manipulation can take place. If anything, the OTC market can add manipulations and trading behavior due to its relative anonymity and lack of regulation. Let me give you an example. An investor could reach out to several brokers incurring for a bid for a significant amount of BTC without having the intention of actually selling any of coins. However, large selling inquiry, as discussed earlier, could drive down the price of Bitcoin, at which point the investor could then scoop up BTC for cheaper on exchanges. Then prices should be affected across the board. Furthermore, there are no sharing agreements in Bitcoin OTC market and traditional fraud detection measures are hard to implement due to the nature of this market. Therefore, should Bitcoin trading continue to move up more towards OTC as opposed to ongoing regulated exchanges, the growing Bitcoin OTC market could become an obstacle to approval of much anticipated Bitcoin ETF. But if the price of the Bitcoin picks up due to the OTC market and carry on by regulated exchanges, the chances are we might see the approval of Bitcoin ETFs. So we came to the end, let me know what you guys think about OTC Bitcoin market. Does high trading volume means that Bitcoin is undervalued? 
Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe for more animated videos about cryptocurrency and financial market. Other than that, thank you for watching and see you next video.